Hello everyone, my name is Zhang Xiaohan. I'm one of the co-authors of the paper. The paper is a joint work with Qin Yue, Dr. Cheng, Dr. Pan, Dr. Hu, and Dr. Bing. In our presentation, which includes six parts, first of all, we'd like to introduce some background to our work. Uh, as we know, the migration to PQC has begun. Just on October 2021, NIST and the Department of Homeland Security created a migration roadmap, preparing for a transition to PQC. And the process is expected to be completed in 2030. The current PQC standardization conference reached the third round on the families. The latest based times has drawn significant attention. And on the, on the third round list, there are still five out of nine candidates in the latest based times. Next, we introduce the security assumptions of it. Uh, we can roughly divide the security assumptions of lighting space times into two categories. The first is LWE variant, uh, including Frodo Kai, New Hope, Kaibu, and Saber, uh, whose security assumption is corresponding to LWE problem, RLWE problem, MLWE problem, and MLWR problem. The second category is N2 variant, and it's including N2 and N2 prime. Both of them are based on N2 assumptions. For lighted based kinds, there are two flavors, INDCPA and INDCCA to see. The INDCPA version can be transformed into INDCCA version using a FO transform. And for NDCPA version, it does not annoy carriers. So we want to ask a question. What will happen if a key is reused in it? Which is one of the goal of research in our paper. That is evaluate carriers resonance of these candidates in misuse situation. Secondly, to improve efficiency, there are many authenticated case change protocols using CPA version uh, without FO transform. Finally, the set channel information can be used to mount chosen safe text attacks against CPCA secure ones. So the line of research focusing on CPA secure ones against the carrier's attacks is important and has been actively studied. Just in 2015, Kirkwood et al. proposed the method of carrier's attack. And the 2018 is the key year. Ding et al. proposed the chemist match attacks idea. After that, there are many chemist match attacks on the lattice based cards. But there is still an open problem, that is, can we find a unified method to evaluate the career resilience of NIST candidates against k-mismatch attacks? To respond to the question, we firstly introduce our attacking model in the following part. And before it, we recall the DP Hellman key exchange protocol firstly. The two parties in the communication jointly generate a same session key, and the KA is equal to KB, and the structure is symmetric. But on the lattice based DH like key exchange, the K breaks through in using an encryption mechanism. And which means that one party needs to 
send additional information to help the other party to agree on the same session here. Um, under the understanding, the difference between DK Hellman protocol and the lattice based UH like this in the protocol, we describe a framework of CP secure kind. Firstly, the Bob sends a request to Alice, and Alice generates a public key PA and a secret key ISK. Next, she sends a public key PA to Bob, and Bob generates shared key KB. For Bob, he generates a public key PB and a cipher text C bar. And he finally he sends public key PB and cipher text C bar to Alice. We notice that the C bar is additional information that we mentioned earlier. Finally, for Alice decryption part, she uses the secret key SA to decrypt the cipher text C bar and he and uh, she can get the same session key KA. After that, we introduce our attacking model. The other words we impersonate the Bob and he sends a request to Alice and Alice uh, key generations part behaves normally. Uh, we notice that the Alice decryption parts uh, and he generation parts public key PA and the secret key SA is reused. And uh, next, she sends her public key PA to adversary. For adversary, she he generates a shared key key and uh, he deliberately cites the public key PB and the secret text C bar instead of randomly, randomly generating. Finally, he sends the public key PB super text C bar and uh, the short key KB together to Alice. The oracle simulates the Alice decryption part. And he gets the short key KA and return one bit to adversary by comparing whether the KA is equal to KB or not. And adversary will repeat the process until he collects enough information um, to recover the Alice secret key. In, in K-mismatch attacks, the precondition of attacking is Alice secret key and public key are uh, reused. An adversary wants to recover the Alice secret key by comparing whether shared keys match or not. Uh, if the KA is equal to KB, which means match, otherwise, which means mismatch. And in the following part, we introduce our basic idea. And now we can respond to the previous problem. That is yes. In the remaining part, we describe our method in detail. Firstly, we introduce some notations. Recall that the adversary recovers any secret key one coefficient block by one coefficient block. One coefficient block is either one coefficient or several coefficients of secret key SA. And we introduce two sites. The site S is mm, including all possible values for one coefficient block. And the corresponding probability site is P0 to Pn minus 1, uh, which is in the deciding order. The summation of it is equal to 1. Next, in our attacking, we can notice that the adversary will select parameters and he access to Oracle. Finally, he collects a series of 0 and 1 values. For adversary, he wants to ask question, how to recover a secret key SA with the fewest number of cures? The problem can be transformed into a 
coding problem, which is practically solved by constructing a binary recovery tree. And we can use the formula in the top of the slides to calculate the average number of cures. But there are many binary recovery trees in practical attacks. And we need to find an optimal binary recovery tree. For we know a method is using Hoffman coding. So our basic idea is using Hoffman coding to get the low bound of average number of cures. That is mean yes. Next, we introduce the Huffman coding. And the basic idea of Huffman coding is comparing two samples with the lowest probabilities in each stack. And we give an example as the site ice assume light is equal to 0, 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2. And its corresponding site is in the right side. The first step we need to find the two lowest probabilities nodes. That is 2 and minus 2. And we can get a new node, and its corresponding probability is 0 0.125. The second step is uh, that we need to combine the new node and uh, node minus 1. And we can get a Another new node. By repeating the process, we can collect a, a Huffman tree uh, using the Huffman coding. Mm. We propose a theorem 1 to prove our low bounds previously. And the channel entropy and the craft equality will be used in it. And from our perspective, we can use the uh, uh, Huffman coding's probability to get it. Next, we can give an example to illustrate our low bound for Kaiba 1024. In 1024, uh, Kaiba 1024, uh, the secret key ISA is sampled from centered binomial distribution. And the range of secret key ISA is from minus 2 to 2. We can get the minimum EIS is equal to 2.125, and the Shannon entropy is equal to 2.03, which is consistent with theorem 1. And we can get the low bound for Kaiba 1024 is equal to 2176. The detailed process for constructing a, a Huffman tree for Kaiba 1024 is in the figure. We can summarize it in one sentence is that in each step we, we select two nodes with the lowest probabilities to get a new node. Using the Huffman coding, we can get uh, other low bounds for other kinds, and we list the detailed results in the table. In the fourth part, we propose our improved practical attacks. We need to point out uh, for some kinds, there is still a huge gap between existing attacks and the low bounds. Uh, such as light saber and Frodo 640. Uh, the gap is 31.05% and 72.19% respectively. And in the following part, we will show that uh, how to use the uh, half entry guide us to improve this tax. Our input practical text is based on Huffman tree, which includes two phases. In the phase one, pre-computation phase, the adversary will uh, construct a binary recovery tree. In the recovery phase, we will determine the secret key 
according to the binary trinity for pre-computation space the and what we want to construct the binary recovery train T. And there is a relationship between our attacking model and the binary recovery train T in the figure. The leaf nodes store all the possible secret key, and the non leaf nodes store the attacking parameters that adversary accesses to Oracle. For each non leaf node, if Oracle returns 1, it corresponds to the left supertree of the current node. And otherwise, it corresponds to the right supertree. There is a detailed plot size of the face. On the second phase, uh, it is recovery phase. The adversary will start from the root of the annual recovery tree key and he selects parameters in the node and accesses to Oracle. If Oracle returns 1, he will continue to access it to the left subtree of the Oracle. Otherwise, he accesses it to the right subtree of the Oracle. Uh, he will repeat the process until the current node is a leaf node. Finally, he can determine the secret key as in R. Uh, there is still the detailed process of the face. Uh, next, we give two examples to illustrate our method. Uh, the example one is on Kyber 1024. In the phase one pre computation phase, the adversary will size three parameters M, PB, and C2. All of them is equal to zero except for the first position of the and m0 is equal to 1 pb0 is equal to cross rounding of q over 32 c20 is equal to h and the adversary will select a different h according to the table and he can construct the binary recovery tree in the right. We can give an example to illustrate the relationship between the table and the binary recovery tree. If the S0 is equal to 1, the adversary first uh, selects the K2 is equal to 8, and Oracle will return 0, uh, and he uh, continues to select K3 is equal to 9, the oracle returns 0 also. Uh, next, he selects k4 is equal to 10. The oracle will return 1. Finally, uh, the adversary can determine s80 is equal to 1. The other positions of the security SA are similar. Using the method on table time, we can get the results in the table. And as we can see, the success rate for our method is 100% probability. Next, we give an example on New Hope 1024. Uh, our main idea is constructing a nearly optimal binary search tree, uh, which, which needs to satisfy a property. For each non leaf node, the probability of left subtree and right subtree should be as equal as possible. And the relationship between Oracle returns value and the, and the left tree or uh, right subtree is the same as the Hoffman tree. Uh, our attacking on the no hope kind, and we can get the results in the table. The gap between our improved attacks and the low bounds is 1.69% and 5.86% respectively. Mm. In the following part, we introduce our uh, improved side channel attacks against MDC3 types. Firstly, we introduce the Roy et al's work. At Chai's 2020, 
Ruby et al. proposed a generic set channel tag on CC social types. In the CC social types, there is a FO transform, which can reject malicious safer tags according to the mechanism of reinfection. So our method cannot directly work on it. But Ruby et al. can use the set channel information to bypass the FO transform to uh, make, make it possible attacking the CC circuit cards. On their Ruby's work, their attack mainly consists of two stages. In the stage one, they generate two classes in templates, the gamma zero and gamma one. Uh, which is corresponding to the failure and the success of Kime CCA decryption part. In stage 2, they can collect a wave and distinguish which class W belongs to. We can see the gamma 0 is consistent with this match and the gamma 1 is consistent with match. So the principle of their work attacking work is same as our proposed mismatch attack. So we can use our method in help of set channel attack to directly improve their work. Uh, we can give an example on keyboard uh, 512. The first figure is our experimental equipment and the second figure is a TV LE analyzer for keyboard 512 during the uh, stage 2, the template matching stage. And use our improved set channel text against the NDCC camps, we can give the results in the table. On keyboard 512, we reduce the number of queues by 48.79%, and for new hope. Uh, we can reduce the number of queues by 76.1% and 88.06% respectively. In the final part, we illustrate our uh, part of experiments. Mm. Our ex experimental environment is it, and our code is available at the link. Um, in the table, we list our improved attacks on the lattice-based crimes, EPQ. And we marked two schemes in blue and the existing attacks in white responding. For Frodo 640 and lightsaber, we can reduce the number of cures is by 71.99% and 27.93% respectively. In the final, we conclude our uh, work. First, uh, we get low bounds for lattice-based kinds of, and we propose our Binary recovery tree method to optimize the case match attacks against the LND CPU circuit cards. Furthermore, we can use our method in help of set channel attacks to optimize the set channel attacks against the LND CCA circuit cards. Here are some references in our presentation. That's all. Thank you.